the abuser, or abusers in my case, were family members. I was young. I was about five or six. This man, who wants to be known as Brian, told me his story in the hope that it might give others the strength to do the same. He finally sought help here at Charity Survivors Manchester, one of just four centres in the country dedicated to men who've been raped. The reason I came out was I was going to kill myself. That day I actually spent at the side of a train track. But when you walk through that door, you start a journey of taking your power back. Last year, 26 sexual offences were recorded by Greater Manchester Police every single day. On a visit to the city, Justice Minister Wendy Morton announced a 50% increase in government funding for this centre and two others, totalling more than £800,000 over the next two years. The announcement follows the conviction of Britain's most prolific rapist, Reynard Sanaga, who was jailed for life last month for the rape and sexual assault of 48 men in the city. Why does it take a case like Sanaga's for this money to be made available? We made a commitment before the Sanaga case to support um, rape services. We recognise more needs to be done. We've put more money into, into this area because at the end of the day, this is people's lives that we're talking about. This centre will get £52,000 this year and that money will go to addressing the current waiting list but it won't come even close to clearing it. Some men are currently waiting almost six months for access to vital support. And the waiting list grew even longer following the Sanaga trials. They saw the number of referrals go up almost five-fold, including contacts from his former friends. They've been duped there, you know, he was an individual who, who led different lives, obviously, um, and I wasn't very open around that kind of stuff. So um, we just make sure that we're delivering the same amount of support you would be, you know, to anyone who, who kind of rang up really. And Good afternoon, Survivors Manchester Gainer speaking. Male rape can happen to any, any man, any walk of life, and it's important for those men to know that there's support here. We've got to talk about the things we don't want to talk about. We are here for you and we can help. And whilst the government acknowledges more needs to be done, this extra cash is a start to ensure those who need help get it as soon as possible. Sarah Rogers, ITV News in Manchester.